Eczema patients swear that certain foods will make their skin break out into a rash. But is there a correlation between food allergies and eczema? The answer is yes. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Jennifer Song. I'm a board certified dermatologist and clinical researcher at Southern California Dermatology in Santa Ana, California. I specialize in medical dermatology and what that means is I take care of patients with serious skin conditions. Today we're going to be talking about eczema, also known as atopic dermatitis. Food allergies are considered an official health-related condition of atopic dermatitis, along with asthma, allergic rhinitis or hay fever, and depression. Up to 30% of people with eczema can have food allergies. The type of reaction can be different for every patient. For some people, a single peanut becomes a life-threatening emergency that can lead to difficulty breathing. For others, eating certain foods like sugar, eggs, and dairy won't necessarily kill them, but will cause their skin to flare up. It makes sense that cutting out certain foods will make the eczema go away, such as gluten or dairy. But unfortunately, it's not that simple. Eczema is a complex disease that has both genetic and environmental factors. It has to do with the weakness in the skin wall that allows allergens to enter the skin easily and cause the skin to dry out quickly. Inflammation inside the body is then triggered by many different things, and one of them can be food. Once the inflammation is triggered, there's overproduction of itch proteins that then make the skin red, rough, and intensely itchy. One key distinguishing factor of food allergies is the timing of the reaction, immediate versus delayed. One type of food allergy is immediate. The reaction occurs within minutes to an hour of eating the food and tends to be hives, or in some severe cases, difficulty breathing, swelling of the throat, vomiting, or abdominal pain. This is called an immediate hypersensitivity reaction. In this reaction, preformed allergic proteins in the body trigger an immediate reaction. The other type of food hypersensitivity reaction is delayed. Eating certain foods can trigger an immune reaction that shows up as eczema, asthma, or allergies a few days later. These are actually really hard to diagnose because there's such a time delay between eating the food to the eczema skin reaction. Many patients still swear that food is a problem for their skin. So to better understand the relationship between eczema and diet, understanding the differences between food allergies and food sensitivities is helpful. A food sensitivity or food intolerance happens when a person has trouble digesting foods. This shows up as gas, bloating, stomach pain, or diarrhea. This is different from a food allergy. In a food allergy, the immune system is actually triggered and produces multiple itch proteins that can cause skin and other symptoms. There are certain rare cases where food allergies and food sensitivities tend to blur a little for people with atopic dermatitis. So it's best to consult with your doctor for a proper evaluation. Patients ask me about food allergy testing. I tend to look for food allergies when patients do not respond to the usual topical therapies or if the eczema notably flares after a specific food is eaten. In these situations, I will use the clinical history from the patient and do blood tests that look for a specific antibody protein called IgE for the most common allergies. If an elimination diet is tried, a maximum of three to four weeks is appropriate. It's important to know that over-testing is also a problem and results are often misinterpreted. Allergy tests aren't perfect. In fact, there are some foods that have an allergic effect but don't show up positive on allergy testing. People with eczema try everything from Atkins, paleo, keto, to vegan, gluten-free, and dairy-free diets hoping that the latest diet will help their itch and relieve their painful eczema rashes. There are some people who seem cured of their eczema with dietary change. However, I've also seen many people do extremely restrictive diets for many months to the point that they develop other health concerns. 
So are people with atopic dermatitis wasting their time if they want to make changes to their diet? Not necessarily. I really believe that a healthy diet is critical to your overall health and thereby will improve your eczema and skin health. Dairy products and simple carbs and sugars can contribute to inflammation in many patients. Eliminating these and other processed foods while eating more vegetables and plant-based foods with some meat and fish is probably very helpful for many people. Many patients see that when they eat a cleaner diet, everything gets better. Your eczema may not be completely clear or be cured, but it is definitely better. Diet certainly plays an important role in our skin's overall health. Thanks for listening. Check out my other YouTube videos on eczema and other serious skin conditions. Bye now.